Hello, this is Seamless, and today I'm here to talk to you about Mutate, a pack of Harmer presets being released through Black Octopus Sound. This is a uh, preset pack that is designed entirely for um, bass resampling in Harmer. So before I get, I get any further into that, I'm going to show you uh, some of the sounds that are possible with the set. The patterns are the original sounds which are included in the set, and then the audio is the result of the resampling. I'll explain what all that means if you don't know what it means afterwards, but here's the sounds. <laughs> Okay, so um, what we're looking at here is a project that has all the presets in it. Um, this project is included in the pack. Uh, the resampled audio is not there, but all the original uh, patterns here and also the setup and the effect setup, which is very minimal, are all listed in that project. Toby is also working up a blank slate project that has um, channels that are labeled insert uh, sound here and then insert resample step here and they're already linked to appropriate mixel channel channel inserts with Edison and all that stuff so um, If you're completely new to this, I will now explain to you how this works so harmer resampling is where you Okay, first of all, what is harmer? I'm assuming um, that you know what this is, but if you don't I have to explain it anyway harmer is a additive subtractive Synthesizer and what that means is that its primary mode of synthesis is additive synthesis But it applies it in certain ways with certain effects that also mimic subtractive uh, type synthesis and it makes it Extraordinarily powerful and one of the things you can do is you can resynthesize audio additively whereas What I've done here is I would record out this pattern This is this uh, preset here and then I would load it into this preset which is labeled square A1. And how would I do that? Well, in channel one, I have an Edison that is clicked on denoise for no reason. I have an Edison. I'm gonna hit record, and I'm gonna play the sound. Note that it didn't start recording until I hit on play. And by on play, I mean play. I have on play selected, so I didn't start recording until I hit play. Note also that um, it continued to make sound even after the pattern was playing because the other, th the other audio is also in that channel because I'm going to capture the resample steps with that channel as well. So I have created a loop point here. And because I have on play selected, whenever a loop happens, this song jump marker appears. It means I can select it, delete it, and now I have the audio file that's the appropriate length. So then I'm going to take this button here, it's a drag button, and now I have a file. I'm going to drag it into square A1. I'm going to turn on square A1. And now you see that in the image section of Harmer, that sound is loaded into square A1. When the audio is in Harmer as such, we, can, we are now able to apply Harmer's internal synthesis and effects to the sound, which do very cool things to it. That would be very hard to do without doing this. Not to say that you can't do it without doing this, but this is seriously a lot easier. So then I'm going to record that out again into Edison. And same thing. I'm going to take off the loop tail, click and drag into the next square. And then again for the third one. And then we would arrive at this sample. And that is a whole process. 
each um, original sound actuals at this preset, like a Reese, for example, is paired up with three um, specific resample steps that will get the sounds that you heard here. They were um, arranged as such because some of these were actually present in older songs of mine that were uh, used them for. A lot of these, however, are brand new. Never been used and were in here just for this this particular pack. Now, um, they are labeled sequentially, so like bitten B here, and then bitten B1, B2, B3. That is because this is the bass that was featured prominently in my track, Bitten, which you can find in my YouTube channel. And uh, if you want to get that particular sound, you need to use that source sound and that resample step. However, you can not do that. You can mix and match. You can put or uh, different original samples into different sets of re of resample steps, or you could just, you can just use the first one of all of them, or you could just use the last one of all of them, and you can come up with a completely new and original sounds. You can also load in your own sounds that you get from your own stuff that you have. Like if you have a sound that you like a lot, and you can resample it and take it just that step further for your own design purposes. So really, this pack is endless, and what you can produce with it. Toby's actually gonna show some of the things that he he managed to do with it as well um but this is very a very powerful set of resample steps for bass it's designed for bass you can do other things with it obviously clearly i mean I, this is not the end all usage of stuff but if you want to get the sounds that were listed here the steps are very plain and laid out uh also some of these have a filter involved like this one <laughs> That filter is uh, in the file. It's just a basic love filter with a bandpass and an LP together doing cool things. Not, not really a big deal, but it's there so you can get the idea. Um, that's really it. Uh, the pack is going to cost uh, $9.99, which I think is a pretty awesome price for something that's basically infinite. And uh, it'll be available through Black Octopus Sound. There's a link in the description. And if you have any questions, you can ask me. If you have uh, problems ordering it, downloading, all that kind of thing, contact Black Octopus Support. Toby is very quick about that kind of stuff. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks very much for buying it. Also, thanks a lot for uh, purchasing the FLPs for my uh, tracks. Also, a reminder that the uh, Skrillex Remix track is actually free. If you want to get that project, it's completely free. Just go and download it. Um, also, thanks for getting me almost 3,500 3, subscribers. And it's a huge number for me. And I'm like super happy about that. You guys are the coolest. Um, I'm also considering doing streaming soon. Um, I have a question on my Facebook page that asks uh, what your time zone is. And if you're basically so I could plan when, like, when the best time is for me to do a stream so that the most people can actually watch it live. However, however, if you don't manage to see it live, it's not a big deal. Um, I'm going to put up the stream recordings up on the YouTube. I'm also going to continue to do normal YouTube content like this and the How to Base series and tracks and stuff like that. So you don't have to worry about missing something just because I'm doing a stream. However, if you do manage to see the stream, um, I'm going to be. Ta I'll obviously interact with you live and take questions, and uh, it'll be a, basically like a more interactive version of How to Base, and uh, lots of people I think will benefit from that. Anywho, uh, have a good day. Thanks for watching, and thanks a lot for supporting me. That's what you're doing, because that's what you're doing, and it's very awesome. Good day.